Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today, I'm starting my blog. Sorry, my glasses are filthy. It is Saturday morning. It's 9.41. I got a good little sleep in today. Not till 9.41, but I can see you now. Um, it is 9.39, I lied. Or 9.45. I don't know. My watch, my clock, everything is a mess. I am headed on a hunt. I have been seeing all these wonderful items that people are getting for fall from the Dollar Tree. And mine don't have it. So I'm going across town to see if I can locate some of the fun things. I need the rug. A couple of those rugs, maybe. And I definitely need the buckets. So let's go. Um, I have coffee. I want to hit Starbucks because that's my Saturday morning, but the lines are usually super long. So I just brought some coffee and I'll hit Starbucks at an off time. <sighs> oh, and I should tell you, we'll just start driving because that's what we need to do until we get on a main road and then I'll stop videoing. But we have a change up with our fall decorating schedule. I've already put out my two plans um, of the lists and all of that stuff. Done. Went through all my decor. Done. Well, here's what's a fun little factoid. I've decided that I want new furniture. We've talked about this. And I've actually picked it out. Um, fun fact, it's the same. My, my brother just bought new furniture and I love it. I just want a different color. I want light gray. So, I went on the website to the store that he got it, and I found it, and it's all laid out and planned out what I'm getting. But I'm waiting for the stimulus check to show up, the second one, because that's what I'm going to use to buy it. I saved the first check, because um, that's what I do. I, I have plans for it, but it's saved right now, because those plans can't happen. So, anywho, I... Uh, I picked out the furniture and then I decided I need to paint my walls. If I'm going to have all the furniture out of my living room, I need to paint while I have that opportunity. And then I was like, well, if I'm painting the living room, I need to paint the dining room. Oh, I can't do that without the kitchen, then the hall. Oh, it's a mess. So, ooh, we don't run red lights like that. My Nate, no, my brother. And my niece are coming over next weekend and we're going to paint my whole first, <laughs> my whole main level, except for the bathroom I redid. And we're going to go up the hallway upstairs into my second floor hallway that has, really needs painted. It's high ceilings and it's not been painted since I bought the condo. So we're going to hold off on decorating for fall until I get the walls all painted. And then I'm like, well, if I'm painting the walls, I got to paint the mantle. So I picked out a color for my mantle and then I'm going to touch up some spots on my ceiling. I am not painting my ceiling. That is too much work for this little endeavor. My goal next weekend is to hopefully get it painted the whole area. Hopefully on Saturday would be fabulous. But we'll pick the harder rooms that I have help for like the upstairs hallway and uh, my kitchen where appliances and things need to be moved. So we'll do that, those rooms first, and then the living room, dining room, hallway last. But I feel like we could get it all done in one day. We'll see. So I'm buying, which is hysterical, a five gallon bucket of paint. Because I'm doing them all in one color. Here's the thing, my house is a very open concept, and all the rooms flow into each other. And I don't, I don't even know how to begin where to stop and start different colors. Plus, I feel like it'll make it look bigger if it's all the same color. Um, and then I will use my um, decor and, oh, there's not even a line at Starbucks. I will use my decor and my furniture and decorations to, to, you know, break up each room. But that's the plan. So I'm going this week to buy five gallons of, I think it's Silver Sky from Bear Premium at Home Depot. And a five gallon jug. I need to look at it in person. I've done a lot of Pinteresting. 
and silver sky seems to be a popular light gray color but I want to see it in person because I want a very light gray I just don't want white I want a definitely coolness to it and then I'm doing my mantle in a navy blue which is very trendy right now and that'll make it pop I'm also looking into finding somebody who can mount my TV over my fireplace. I need to research it though. I know that heat can cause issues, but my fireplace is pretty tall and I have a very substantial mantle. So we'll see about that. But I really want the fireplace to be the focal point of my room. And by putting the TV over the fireplace, I can then arrange my furniture around that but I definitely use my fireplace so I'm not I'm not sure but I will I will figure that out that's later first paint small steps because I get overwhelmed so first we paint well first I guess I have to go around my house take everything off the walls and clean and put speckle where there's like screw holes and hanging things because I'm not gonna hang the same things in the same spot well a couple things I am but mostly I'm not um, so I need to put things in boxes in the garage and do the touch up with the spackle. I'm wondering if I can patch that hole where my T where my phone jack is on the wall or maybe I'll just paint it to make it blend. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. But that's the plan. So I've kind of ceased any type of decor shopping for the house because I haven't really now figured out I mean, I think I'm still on the same path and I didn't need a lot in the first place so that's good but we'll see let's paint first paint first and then continue our shopping expeditions later I you know fall is three months of fall you know that warm colors fall Halloween Thanksgiving Halloween's giving takes up three months so if I push it back a little bit this year I'm okay with that um, yeah so I'm excited of course we'll bring you along during the painting shenanigans with my family uh, my brother is 6'4 I am not 6'4 Sarah I think it's 5'9 5'8 5'7 something taller than me I'm the short one so typically I do the low and Jay that's my brother does the high painting as far as edging and things like that because he's tall and the two of us should be able to knock it out and hopefully if my cousin comes she and maybe the kids can help and that will make it go even faster and then I hate to say this but once I paint the walls I may decide to go dark on my kitchen cabinets that will not be this year though but well, maybe I doubt it all right let's go shopping okay we did it Ooh, I went to five new Dollar Trees I think I've been to one or the other on occasion but these are definitely not ones that I go to regularly and I finished my coffee my glasses are still I think it's so dirty when I wear my you know mask on and off all the time this last one is a brand new store I thought they would have more but they did have good painting stuff that I was looking for like rollers and um, tarps and painters tape stuff like that I also got a Diet Coke which I rarely ever drink Diet Coke um, but I just felt like it today all right so we are headed home to see what we can get into today. We may start packing up if I can find some boxes. All right, let's go. Well, I was getting ready to start putting mantle stuff away and I see all of this. I don't know if you can see it. I'm like, what is that? Drywall? Um, I have a leak. Yeah, I don't know how long it's been up there. It's not overly wet, but it definitely is wet in the corner. So I have called or used my home warranty and requested a plumber right above that is my toilet in my bedroom so something is leaking from up above that i need to have fixed but if you look down on the floor there's more drywall down there so it's a good thing i'm taking all of this stuff off the mantle to get ready to paint it and put it all away Urgh. so i'll follow up when the Plumber comes next week. All right, guys, we are making corn dogs. My favorite. Now, 
now I'm taking, I use Nathan's, they're the cleanest, so they don't have a lot of junk in them. I'm making my O flavor, the recipe's on the back, cornbread, I love it. And I have a pan here, and this is, I got it on Amazon, it's called a Twinkie pan, to be honest with you. They're not huge, I usually make hot dog buns out of this pan, but we're going to make, um, corn dogs today. So I have my batter in a piping bag. Let me do something real quick because I want to show you a few things. What I do is I take one of these clips I got at the Dollar Tree. And you want to just shake it and try to get as much of the air out and all the batter that way. And this way I can lay it down because I haven't cut it yet. And it won't um, squeeze stuff everywhere. Okay, so I took my hot dogs and I cut off about this much. Just measure it. Um, you know, you want to have them encased. But, first things first. We're going to put a little layer of the corn dog, corn bread batter down in each one. And I may have some extra batter and I'll just bake it but you put a little bit down right at the bottom take your hot dog and you squish it in and then I'll go over it there you go and then I just kind of I'll flap it down after so we'll do four at a time because I don't really know how much first time making them so I don't know how many I'll get out of this recipe of cornbread and whatever I don't get I'll just bag up my hot dogs and have them for another day or I can make another batter now hopefully I don't feel like this cornbread rises too much but we'll see and quite frankly I don't need to cover them completely on the top um, mostly because I feel like it will, they'll sink and it'll rise up over them. That gets them sunk down in there, but it also, um, gets into the air bubbles out. All right, one more. Now we're going to go one at a time. To see how many I can get out of this. This is one batter, one recipe of this cornbread. All right, we can probably get another one. I'm gonna say maybe two more, but we'll see. And like I said, I can always um, make another batch. Yeah, I think we're gonna be down. So I think I'll get seven out of here. And it doesn't have to be completely encased right because it's fine these are not at the carnival these are just here and then i'll just take whatever's left put it in there and throw my hot dog in it there now let us slap it down in there i'm going to put it on a pan I'm going to bake it at 350. I'm going to start with like 10 to 15 minutes and um, see what gets done. I'm just trying to neaten these up as best I can, put any extra. Now, obviously, if I wasn't cooking these just for me, I would use a spoon or a spatula. But guys, it's for me. Nobody else is eating these. But I have a little bit overflow, so let's see what we can do, right? I don't want them all over the pan. There. There we go. So we're going to put them in the oven, and let's see how they turn out. Come on, baby. <laughs> come on, it's time to come home. Do you want to cheat? Do you want to cheat? No. I do not understand why this cat digs in my mulch. Ugh. Okay, so let's try this again. We have a treat. 
<laughs> oh, now you come home. Oh, you want your treats. All right, we'll go inside and get them. Come on. All right, it's Sunday morning and I'm home from the grocery store. I thought I would share with you what I picked up for the week. Um, now I do have uh, bleh, issues talking. I do have meat in the freezer that I'm gonna pull out for the week and I need to go to the um, farm stand later. So this is what I got at Walmart. Uh, the reason I went to Walmart, I was looking for uh, this Waverly chalk paint. I love crafting with it. Sadly, everybody else does too because they were out. Literally, I got two black and that was it. I was looking for this brown stain and I couldn't find it. But that's okay, I have some stain. So I got two jars of this. They're small. These are two ounces. They're $1.67. I was looking for the big one, but this is fine. Um, and then I did pick up some black flat spray paint for some decor pieces. And my copper, because I'm obsessed, um, I went to Goodwill. You'll see later I'm going to spray paint two candlesticks to go on my mantle. So that was it for non-food items. So we'll start over here. Um, I did get some more bacon, one to cook, one for the freezer. I just get the cheap. This was like three forty-seven. dollars um, I picked up another pack of Nathan's hot dogs. Honestly, these are just quick and easy for me. They have one carb. They're pretty clean. There's no sugar. There's no um, fillers, artificial colors, no corn syrup, no gluten. They're expensive. They're $5. But... Again, I'm a single person and I can eat these for a week, so I don't think that's bad for my protein. Obviously, if you're a family and you have to feed more and you're on a budget, it may not be friendly for you. Um, but for me, in my diet, this is what I get. Um, I grabbed some pepperoni, just uh, six ounces. It's a great snack. I eat it with chopped up cheese. I make pan pizzas without crust. Um, I eat pepperoni fairly regularly, so I grabbed some of that. Um, and my three cheeses that I cut up for the week, I have Seriously Sharp. I love Cabot. And when I go to Walmart, I like to pick up some. Um, some Pepper Jack and some Swiss. Um, this, again, will last me for the week. It may be longer, just depends. But it's a good snack for me to grab and go. So I grabbed that. And I have a pack of lunch meat already in the freezer, so I didn't need that. I don't have a need for the Philadelphia other than I'm starting to stock up for holiday baking for myself. Um, one way I stay keto and stay on plan and don't cheat around the holidays is I make sure that I have baked items for myself. Um, and I'll tell you here in a second one thing that I do make, but it's a, well, it's a Philadelphia <laughs> cream cheese. It's a cheesecake. Um, but it's a nut crust on the bottom, a cheesecake layer, and then a layer of pumpkin pie. And it's all keto filling, and I make bars with it. Oh, it's so good. And it freezes well. So I make um, two pans of it. One batch makes two pans. And then I cut them up, and I stick them in my freezer. And they thaw pretty quickly, so I have a, a readily made snack. So I'm starting to stock up. These are $4 for two. Um, I will tell you, again, with the carb count, the five simple ingredient from Philadelphia has zero carbs. Uh, the Aldi brand, I think, has two carbs. Yeah, see, it's less than one carb. I would still count it as one, and they don't have anything added in it. The Aldi brand, I don't know why it has two carbs, but it does, so I don't buy it. So I grabbed that, and then just some cheese to cook with. I'm asking for a food processor for Christmas for my family so I can start shredding my own cheese. Uh, this stuff does have starch in it. Uh, yeah, potato starch. No, it's... Oh, come on. Anyway, it won't focus. Potato starch to keep it from clumping. So it's really not ideal if you're doing a clean keto. It's not the end of the world, but I try to avoid it. Same with the parm. I know this is bad for me. I mean, it's not bad, but there's some ingredients in it that aren't necessarily the best. But I just love it. And sometimes you just got to do, you know, what you got to do. And I got to do some parm. So I grabbed that. I'm super excited to have finally found or found this. I don't know if it's new. I've never seen it before. But I also don't shop at um, Walmart that frequently. 
But Crazy Richard's peanut butter is very clean. It's nuts and it's salt. That's the ingredients. And that's what I buy. I don't always buy the Crazy Richard's brand, but I buy pure peanut butter. But it has a little more carb. Peanut powder has less carbs. and I, But they usually add um, sugar to it. I'm like, why? Why? Why, why are you putting sugar in this? But they do. But I knew Crazy Rich's wouldn't. That was $4, but it's pretty concentrated. And I typically use it when I'm baking or to flavor something. So I don't typically, you know, make like a sandwich out of this. This is for cooking or flavoring. You can add water and create your own peanut butter. And it's still lower in carbs than traditional peanut butter. But this is peanut powder. And it's good in like shakes, stuff like that. Baking sauces so i'm super excited to have found that um i bought walnut flour now i don't normally cook with walnut flour but again we're coming up on baking season for me and this makes a great crust i can add this with the almond or um pecans for the crust of pies and baked goods or add it as flavorings or make cookies out of it so it's just different than the almond flour. It was $7 for 16 ounces or four cups. Now I did price just buying like crushed up walnuts or the, the broken walnuts and grind my own. A, I don't have a decent sized food processor. Mine is a tiny little three cupper and it just says it's not, it doesn't work, right? So I don't have the means right now to grind my own nuts. And B, it was only like a dollar more. And for the convenience and consistency, of the grind heck yeah I'll pay a dollar so this is nature eats walnut flour and there's actually a walnut flour recipe on the back I don't know if I'll use that and the ingredients walnuts that's what I always look at your ingredients don't necessarily look at sugars and everything um, and then I got a two pound bag of almond flour it's just a staple in my life I have some I'll throw this in the freezer um, just as a heads up, I do store all of my nut flour and nuts in the freezer. They will go bad. Keeping them in the freezer just extends the shelf life. And this is good until 21, but I will use it by then. And still in the realm of baking, I picked up some maple extract. This will be difficult to find come holiday season. Um, and this is a good brand. It's pretty clean, non-GMO, no corn syrup. It's just the maple flavoring. So I grabbed one of those. I think it was $4. And you get two ounces, which is nice. That's a pretty decent sized bottle. And you'd only use a little bit. And I was out of the maple. I use that fairly regularly with my fall baking. Then I got this to try. No added sugar. It's coconut cream and almond milk. It's dairy-free half and half for my coffee. Guys, I drink a lot of coffee, which means I get a lot of dairy. So, and this is only 15 calories, which again, I don't really count calories, but zero carbohydrates. There's no sugars added. So we're going to try this. I'm scared, but I'm going to try it in my coffee. But just in case, I got cream. <laughs> but I can also cook with this. And another side note, if you were wanting to do what I'm doing and get yourself ready for the holidays, whether you're keto or not is irrelevant. Baking stuff can be expensive. This freezes well. Just throw this whole thing in your freezer. When it comes out, let it thaw in a couple days in the fridge and make sure you shake it really well. It'll separate a little bit. But it's perfectly fine and it tastes exactly the same. Same thing with butter. Find a good deal on butter, buy a couple. Throw them in your freezer. Keep them for the holidays. I have a couple in my fridge that I keep buying butter. I'm not sure why. So I need to throw it in the freezer too. And then I have some nuts and stuff. But that's it. Like I said, I will pull some meat out of my freezer. And then I will take a walk here later over to the farm stand and get myself some vegetables for the week. And that is everything. Hope that was fun. Here's a little bonus. I did some spray painting today. I turned those from some, I don't even know, Ming Dynasty type colors to some copper. And then I have to get up there and take down that. Screw up top. I am filling holes in my walls. 
getting ready for the paint. I've taken everything down and I'm just kind of going through and patching, patching some holes. My house is a disaster zone, guys. And what I'm trying to decide, I'm gonna paint my mantle in navy blue, but I'm deciding if I wanna take it all the way up to the ceiling or not. So we'll see. I'm waiting on the plumber to call me back. I should clean out my fireplace too. And yeah, I got everything down off the walls. Next, I need to take down the curtains, but I'll wait till Thursday or Friday to do that. And then I'll wash them. Yeah. So here we go. All right, guys. Well, I am done for the day. Oh, there's my dubbers. Hi, buddy. And over there is Alex. Hi, baby. And here's stuff I've been taking off the walls and more repairs. Yep, so I've got everything down. Hi, sweetheart. What do you need? What? What? You say hi? You say hi? What? I think he's hungry. You hungry, baby? I'm going to feed my boys and get this video up. Hope you guys had a great week. Bye.